Much has been talked about continuity and differentiability in the previous chapter videos. And this chapter's name is application of derivatives. So one must be thinking that why did we study differentiation and what kind of application is maxima and minima. So the topic is what maxima and minima of a non-differentiable function. Because some of us might think that only application of derivatives is restricted to continuous functions or differentiable function. So it is not like that. We are not taking into consideration continuity for this video, but we are taking into consideration differentiability. That if a function is not differentiable, still does it have maxima or minima? So a live example in front of us is y is equal to mod x curve. You already know y is equal to mod x has this type of a graph. You can easily plot it with the help of values and the expansion minus x and x when x is less than 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0. Now you see that this function is such that it has many values into consideration. Suppose I have minus 5 here, so it will be 5 for minus 5. Here also suppose I have 5, so f of x would be 5, f of 5 would be 5. So all values would be towards the positive direction of the y-axis means increasing. The least value that you can ever get is 0. So although this function has a sharp point here, a pointed edge, so definitely this is not differentiable at x is equal to 0, which we have studied in continuity and differentiability. But for sure I can say that, yes, although my function is not differentiable, it has minima. This you have to take into picture. It has minima at x is equal to 0. Now if it has minima, what is the minimum value? Minimum value is this only and the minimum value is what? The minimum value is 0 only. So that is important. Not only whether minima exist or not is important, but it is also important what is the minimum value. So please keep it in your minds that yes, even if the function is not differentiable, it may have a maxima or minima.